Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views for July 3rd, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. All right, today we have the S&P 500 E-mini futures trading up six and a quarter points at 29.85 and three quarters per contract. All in all, you can see the futures getting a nice little bid right around three o'clock in the morning when Europe opens and markets seem to be holding up fine. European markets are up across the board. Asian markets, for the most part, were weak last night. China leading the decline. The one winner was the Indian Bombay Sensex Index. So we'll see how today plays out. The markets in the U.S. are going to be closed tomorrow for the Independence Day holiday. That is July 4th. So we do expect light volume out here today. We had light volume yesterday, and I would kind of expect more of the same. Can the markets go higher? Certainly, light volume does favor upside, so we have to give it that slight upside bias today. All right, looking at a couple of other things, we had ADP job report out at 8.15 a.m., and it looks like uh, we had about, I believe, 102,000 private sector jobs uh, created. So we'll see how that plays out. This Friday, I believe, is going to be the non-farm payroll report by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. So we'll see where that goes. Again, uh, we'll take a look at stocks in the news because that's where we're going to try to focus and make some money. So let's get started here with Jeffries. J-E-F is the ticker symbol. The stock is trading at 20 bucks. Now, this is sometimes on a lighter volume side. <clears throat> so just realize that um, today, you know, we may get light volume out here. I don't know if the stock has a whole lot of upside. If it rallies from here, 2150 would be the extent of it. So I'm not sure we're even going to see that, but we'll see how it plays out. Next one we want to take a look at is Symantec, S-Y-M-C. It looks like uh, there's a report coming out that uh, Broadcom is looking to buy out the cybersecurity firm. Right now that stock is trading at $25.30. Did trade briefly above the 2750 level. Has pulled back a little bit. If you own uh, Symantec, trail the stop loss. That's all you want to do here. I could not be a buyer up here at this level. If you take a look at AVGO, which is Broadcom, you're going to see that is trading a little bit lower on that news. So the stock closed at 295.33 yesterday, now trading at 283.50. So that's a pretty good little haircut for Broadcom on the back of that news. And we'll see how it plays out once the opening bell rings. Both of those stocks will be on our radar. Next up, we want to take a look at Tesla, T-S-L-A. Tesla getting a big pop this morning. Stock closed at 224, spot 55, now trading at $239.69. Big pop there. Uh, I think this can probably go to 243, maybe 245. That would be the extent of it for Tesla, though. I don't see it going much past that level. But again, this is on the back of uh, guidance. They came out and said, um, I believe they said, that uh, production was up and um, the stock market likes the news. So they delivered 95,000 vehicles in the second quarter and the market seems to like the number. So again, Tesla getting a pretty big pop today. Let's take a look here at USANA Health Sciences, ticker symbol USNA. This is getting absolutely clobbered today. Stock closed at $76.72, now trading at 62 bucks. This gets down to $58. I actually like that level there. We'll look at this one in the intraday stock chat room. This is on the back of guidance, so pretty ugly move overall, and uh, we'll see where it goes. But again, 58 looks like a pretty decent area. Then I see a little bit more support around 54. This is what we call a thin name, and what I mean by that is if I show you the daily chart, look how light the volume is, generally 100 to 300,000 a day, and that's why you get such big dramatic moves in the name. So again, big, big, big sell off there. We'll look at that one a little bit later. Let's take a look at Canopy Growth. CGC is the ticker symbol here. Stock closed at $40.08. Looks like the CEO is stepping down. I saw him on CNBC earlier. He said he was fired. So again, um, he was a co CEO, I should say that much. But um, stock right now trading at $39.10. Briefly traded below or around $36.50. So uh, we'll see if it can get back down there. If it does fall to new lows, I have an excellent, excellent level for canopy growth today. So we'll keep that on the radar. We'll also look at some of the other cannabis names, Kronos, Tilray. I think ACB is another one. So we'll see if any of those are in play as well. When one falls, usually the rest will fall in sympathy. So we'll see how that goes. Let's shift gears here a little bit. Let's go over to the gold market. 
gold futures today uh, <clears throat> at the moment are trading higher by $13.30 to $1,421.30 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD, that trades till 4 o'clock, so that's actually a little bit on the weaker side here this morning. But nonetheless, uh, GLD is still trading at one thirty thirty three eighty eighty five. That's still about 40 cents higher than where it closed, but it is well off the high. So again, gold continues to hang in there very, very well. President Trump uh, put a new nominee in there for uh, a Fed position, a, a Federal Reserve position, and uh, they like the gold standard. So that is a positive for gold today. Next up, I want to take a look at crude oil. Crude oil was smashed yesterday to the downside. Today, it's rebounding a little bit, up 44 cents to $56.69 a barrel. If you take a look at the USO, that's a good ETF to track the movement in crude. That's trading at $11.77, up from $11.70 at the close. So a little uptick there for crude oil, but crude was hammered yesterday. I can't really say that with more emphasis. You gotta be careful of that pattern now in crude oil. All right, with that being said, everybody, if you have not done so, come on over, take that seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat room. We'd love to have you in there with us. We're having a great 2019, and we're going to look to keep that going really right into the end of the year. With that being said, I'm going to see you all a little bit later on the charts. Have a great trading day.